Are you a player of Valorant? Do you get very competitive in your games? Do you fear that one day you might get banned from even playing anything related to the company behind Valorant? Well, in the newest version of the game, it seems they're going to be taking action against anyone that does disparaging remarks in a competitive setting. While I've been told by a bunch of people that I probably should pick up Valorant at some point, it's a free-to-play game, but I'm not really into this stuff. You know, I, I don't like the competitive 5v5 tactical shooters like Overwatch or Valorant. Um, and, you know, there's a few other things in here where it just, you gotta sit there and question, what are they really promoting for this game? It's not one that I'm going to pick up tomorrow and play. But it seems they are now threatening hardware bans against players who engage in erroneous trash talking we won't misuse so we have to be ready and willing to re-examine things and hold ourselves accountable when things are not meeting our community's expectations okay first off first off you are dealing with the general public you are not dealing with your employees you are not dealing with people that work beneath you you are dealing with the general public playing a free-to-play game policies that are being pushed forward are now being enacted as if the players are employees. They're not. This is a completely different sound issue. People can call other people jackasses all they want. The, 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 the name calling, unfortunately, that's part of, of the world. People will call people other names. But trying to police what people want to say, you know, unless it's absolutely downright threatening and, and illegal, then... I don't think it's your responsibility at this point. Now, there is a certain level of competitiveness at this level where if you're going to start uh, discouraging or start degrading people, yes, you step in, but you then set out competitive rules for that sense. You can't just do it just for anybody going in there and playing these games. It's absolutely ridiculous. I go into a local game store. I sit down to play a game of Magic. I try to have fun. But if someone starts calling me names or calling me stuff like that, I'm not going to want to play. And I'll, I'll generally pack up my cards and leave instead of sitting there and, and trying to do anything more with the people that are there. I may return. I may not. It, it's uh, But that's up to my personal choice and my personal choice to make that decision to walk away from the matter. It's not up to, now the store has a certain level that they wanna maintain in their store. And at the same time, I think that's what they're trying to push with these types of games. They're trying to say, listen, let's step back. You, you know, we're going to assess you a penalty, but it has to be escalated if that's the case. And it has to be at a level that's going to matter. You're sitting at home in your basement with no one around Nobody cares about the other person on the other side of the screen. Nobody cares. All they care about is winning that game and playing the game. That's all people care about. It's That's the nature of competitive video games. I saw this with uh, Magic the Gathering Arena, Magic the Gathering Online. People get downright pissy when you beat them with something that they don't believe is right. There's simple ways to deal with that, and it's called muting. Muting the other players you mute their mic you don't have to listen to them at all i've seen this time and again with league of legends i've seen this with many many games but trying to police the entirety of it it's not going to run any any help for anybody but i also want to make sure that i say this out loud we have no room for these types of behavior in our game or in our community valorant is a team game. It's better played as a team. The strats are better. All of it's better. When you tell someone to just mute comms, to avoid harassment, you are essentially putting the harassed person in a position to not communicate, to compromise how they want to play the game, to accommodate you. Okay, okay. Th this is ridiculous. Playing in a team, working as a team, building a video game or Building a team base building is not something that you learn 
in an instant. This is something you do over time. It's a skill you learn. This is uh, this idea of soft skills and communication. This is something you learn over time and becomes a natural form of working with a team. If I turn around and pick up Valorant tomorrow and hop into a competitive match, I won't be playing as a team. I am playing for myself. I am doing this to play the game, not caring about the team. The people that sit there and make a team and build a team will play these games better. But until that point, until you actually get a group together where you're going to play as a team, mute the comms because that's what it's there for. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is the mindset that they have, that someone can sit down at a computer, pick up a video game and, and jump into it and suddenly they're a team. No, they can't. Until they get past the point that the I is not in the word team, they cannot play as a team. People will sit there and be competitive and that competitive nature will bring out the worst in a lot of people. Okay, so first over the next 30 days, they're finalizing updates of existing policies. This allow us to issue more severe penalties and faster with focus on more severe behaviors. Things like hate speech, which uh, my understanding is protected by law, uh, severe sexual content, uh, don't be uh, a, a perv, um, and threats of violence. Threats of violence are actionable by the law. Uh, which have no room in our game. We will continue to adjust those categories as when and where it's needed. Secondly, we need to we need stronger tools to deal with broader specter of harmful player behavior, and so we we're introducing new actions. Third, they're beefing up the teams to review these faster. Ah, this is this is not going to go well. Uh, fourth, they're using a Riot Voice evaluation system on in North America in English only for now. Well, this is where the majority of the problem exists, isn't it? Is in the Western culture. You don't see this as much in, in like the Asian cultures or anything like that. So of course they're going to pick English overall, but it's been working really well. Players who have been actioned upon by RVE have not re-offended at a 75% rate or they just quit the game and they don't play it anymore because they, they got banned. They're like, forget this. I don't want to play this game anymore because it, it drives away people playing it. This reduces the overall number of repeat offenders by a great deal. We're looking to roll this out in more regions this year. Great. And lastly, we're going back and performing one-time review of a top suspected offenders from the previous acts and issue penalties accordingly. It's important to us that you can trust us with this. And when you get feedback from a report that you can can trust that something happened in a timely manner it, with a right severity. Oh boy. So what exactly do they mean by a hardware ban? Well, explaining the state of, uh, of player behavior, the studio had confirmed that Riot Games will now ban toxic players permanently from the game. Repeat offenders reporting for sexual threats uh, and bodily damage will be punished with a hardware ban. This means you will have no access to Valorant unless you create a new account and buy a new computer. That's absolutely ridiculous at this point. That, that punishment is up and over what it should ever be. And hardware bans, hardware banning for players. That's way too far. At the very bottom of this article, here's how you can report a player. It goes through the steps on how you can report a player. This is going to get abused beyond belief. Now, you're, this is going to create a situation where people are going to get banned and they're going to get banned repeatedly. And then all of a sudden they're going to be locked out of these games. And it, and it will be something as simple as not understanding what everyone else is saying. It's going to be, th this spells disaster, right? It's only a matter of time before someone figures out how to hack this, to actually ban their opponents, ban some of the topper players, 
from the game entirely. Now, with this, yes, it is heavy handed to sit there and hardware ban someone. It is also after, what is it, their fifth offense. So this is going to be the most egregious people down the line. But a hardware ban where you have to sit there and put in, I, I'm guessing you can get around it just by reinstalling Windows and building up a new Windows at that point. It wouldn't necessarily tag your nvidia card or your motherboard as that because the the digital signature is more tied with windows or your uh essence of your account ultimately if you're having to though buy a new heart new computer this could flag your ride account overall or your epic account and then you end up losing all your games at the same time so if I were you and you, you want to play these types of games, I wouldn't play Valorant. I would play something else. Um, I, it, the second thought here is a lot of the players that are being toxic are, are kids that don't really understand how to act uh, like an adult because the, the, this is now people that are being told you must act like an adult. You have to act like the way everyone wants you to act. And unfortunately, there's no controlling over certain people, uh, no controlling with the way people act. Sometimes it's, you gotta learn how to act properly around everyone else. And that's how things go. Uh, you, someone could have a mental break one day and they just go off on someone. D does that warrant a hardware ban? I think this is just gonna create more problems than it's worth. Um, I don't think Riot is, or Valorant here is going to do very well in the, in the long run. Sure, there's toxicity, the, this type of uh, you know, people that play these games, but it's few and far between. There, there's very few people that are actually doing this. So hopefully in the long run, this doesn't get uh, ruined and this isn't abused beyond belief where people will find themselves at the other end get, having to build a new computer just to play the game that they've gotten very good at and wanted to play further with. If you want people to uh, work in a team, well, that takes time also. Right? It takes time to learn these skills. It, it, you can't do it overnight. You, it, it, it's not something that's normal. And this is the digital age we live in where everyone thinks that they, they can say and do and what, whatever they want. But there's a certain level here where the mute button is there for a reason. Right? Anyway, I'm your Prod Canadian Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.